Marines kicked off a large-scale exercise by doing what they do best, amphibious landings. More than 25,000 Marines and sailors from throughout 1st Marine Expeditionary Force, including 1st Marine Division, 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing, and 1st Marine Logistics Group, participated in Exercise Steel Night 2014, preparing them to work together as America's Expeditionary Force in Readiness, December 9th through 16th. Training took place across five Marine Corps bases throughout California and Arizona, requiring all elements of the MEF to coordinate their efforts. Steel Knight has grown substantially from years prior, incorporating sizable air and logistical support elements to create an all-encompassing, realistic exercise. So every unit in the Marine Corps works and, and trains on their own core skill set. Uh, but a couple times a year, you really need to get everyone together and, and every functional area together uh, to be able to do a large-scale exercise uh, and, and train the way we would fight and uh, as, as a larger force, and that's why this is important. The best way for Marines to hone their warfighting skills is none other than live-fire training exercises aimed at integrating infantry forces with mechanized artillery and air operations. We are in support of a Bravo battery. This is Gun 4. We load rounds, fire rounds, drop rounds off the truck, put them in the gun, send them down range. The integration of training and planning prepares Marines for future conflicts, enabling them to respond to any crisis across the globe. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, California, I'm Corporal Mike Wick.